because I just got Luca to sleep in the carrier. It has been a rough week. Um, I haven't, this is the first time picking up the camera all week because he has been teething and he's had a fever and it's just been a rough week. And poor little guy, just I feel so bad. I haven't really been able to set him down. Daisy. Um, I have not been able to set him down much because he's just been uncomfortable whereas like last week we were kind of on like more of a routine and a schedule and i was able to like put him down and he was taking like um consistent naps and everything and like this week we're just like not at all so i feel like once you feel like you got the hang of things in motherhood the next day or week or whatever there's a reality check that like you just don't or that at least that's my life so anyway, I came in here because the girls are being pretty loud today and they're having fun playing and all the things. So I came in his room, even though he doesn't really sleep in here, and just kind of listened to some music and rocked him to sleep. So he finally fell asleep and he's in here right now. Um, and yeah, I just thought I would try to pick up the camera today and vlog a day in the life of a teething baby. He does have his bottom two teeth I showed you guys, but his top two... I think or top one or one of them on the top is trying to come through and I feel like before he got his um sorry I'm rocking back and forth but I feel like before he got these bottom two he was teething for like months so I hope that's not the case for the other ones because it's been pretty rough I'm doing all the things but at the end of the day he just wants me so so if you're new here I would love it if you to subscribe I have three kids and we are moving to Michigan in three weeks we go about we just have a lot going on right now and also on top of moving Ella starts school pretty soon here too so we're trying to figure all that out because she's gonna be going to a new school so I have been on Target trying to order some school supplies just guessing what she'll need and like looking at um, her old school's first grade list because we don't know exactly what school she's gonna be at um, because we gotta figure that out but um, She'll be starting school in like a month, so which is crazy. So I'm ordering her clothes, getting her backpack, her lunch bag, all that kind of stuff, looking at the school supply list and just getting her everything. Um, we like to go in store to do all that too, but I wanted to do, since we're moving, I wanted to kind of get ahead of it. So I wanted to show you guys some of the stuff that we got too that I love. One of the things that Ella wanted this year was a new water bottle. She wanted a bigger water bottle that kept her drink cold and that had a straw. So, so, so excited when Elo reached out and they wanted to sponsor today's video. So thank you, Elo, for sponsoring today's video. We use Elo cups all the time. I have a couple myself. The girls have a few. Tommy has a couple. My mom loves them. Like, our whole family just loves Elo. So when they reached out, I was super excited because it's a brand that we use all the time. I'm so excited to share that Emma bottle with you this is the one of their top selling kids bottles the girls were really excited when they saw that they got the pink ones and they were super excited when they saw the new series of their animals so this is what came on the bottle but this is the packaging how cute i took one off because ella wanted to use it and i wanted to show it to you guys also for a limited time when you order you get this cute coloring book and go to their website and you can actually download this coloring book for free it's super cute the girls are going to be so excited to color all these cute little animal pages, so that's really fun. Okay, so what I think is super cool about this water bottle is it's leak proof. I kept the sticker on here to show you guys. You can lock it and unlock it. That's really cool for your like for kids at school with their backpacks. So here it's locked and you can see, press it, it won't open. Then you hit the unlock and it pops open like that and you easily close it very easy for kids to do not something that they would struggle with something that i think is super cool is it's really easy to clean it and then the straw is an antimicrobial soft straw so it reduces stains and odors which is really nice because kids you know can get kind of yucky so i feel like this is just so perfect and it's bpa free all parts of it like i said it's a perfect size because i feel like it holds enough water for her throughout the day, but it also will fit in her backpack and in her lunchbox. 
So like I said, it keeps drinks really cold because it is stainless steel. So it's vacuum insulated stainless steel. It actually keeps the drinks cold for 14 plus hours. So super awesome. So it's really important for her. She likes really cold water. So she loves her LO cup. So I'm so excited that she's gonna have a new cup for school. So you guys can save 15% off with my code Lauren E for 15% off. I will leave everything down below. But Okay, so the girls are gonna decorate their water bottles with their stickers. What one do you guys wanna do? Um, I wanna do that. You wanna do the unicorn? Yeah. Okay, I'll help you. Which one do you wanna do? I wanna do the doggy. The doggy now? You no, said the panda. I, no, no, this one. And then you said the koala. <laughs> then do the koala? Yes. Okay. Okay, Nightmare. Just one for now. Cute. And then Ella did the koala. Luca is using his little teether. Put some water in here and froze it for him. Hopefully it helps. This is lunch today. Lila wants mac and cheese and Ella wants peanut butter and jelly. They don't want a homemade peanut butter and jelly and only one wants a PB&J so I'm like I'm not making a whole thing of mac and cheese. So yeah here we are. I'm about to make a smoothie or shake. I know like if you're on Instagram I feel like everybody's talking about Arbon. But I was an influence on Instagram. My mom actually, when I was in Michigan, she had this and I was, she made me a shake and it was delicious. So I ordered it and it actually is really good. So I'm gonna make a shake with this and put in some oat milk with a mixture of almond milk and then some of this almond butter from Trader Joe's. <laughs> We're almost out of it. This is amazing, it's so good. He was supposed to have his appointment for his um, six month appointment, but he had a fever, so they told me to not bring him in. So hopefully he can go next week. But I've never like had a struggle with breastfeeding and I don't say that to brag or anything. Well, that's not true. With Ella, I struggled. I mean with him, I haven't really struggled breastfeeding at all. It's been a pretty, like a breeze and yeah. But as of recently, I'm struggling horribly with breastfeeding him. I like literally never felt this way before. <laughs> Couldn't think of the word. I like every time it's time to nurse or he wants to nurse or whatever, or I feel milk coming, I start to get anxiety because I'm in so much pain the last few days breastfeeding him. It feels like he's a newborn. Like it feels like my boobs feel like he's a newborn all over again, but worse. I don't know if it's because he has teeth now and like they're rubbing against it or my nipple or if he's not biting down so it's not that it's just I think like they're super sensitive or something like sorry this is TMI but I was just wondering if anyone has experienced this when their baby starts getting their teeth because he's not like biting me and I don't have pain like that it's like they're just so sore or sensitive or something I don't know it got a it's a little bit better today but this last week, I have been lathering on like the nipple butter, the nipple cream, the land, like all the stuff, all the things. I've been icing my boobs. I've been just, well, I've just been in a lot of pain. And I, seriously, every time he latches, I grab onto something and I like squeeze it because I'm in so much pain. So it's been really bad. Um, and I'm, I'm struggling with breastfeeding and I've never, 
um, struggled like this before and I've never felt this way before and I don't like feeling like this because it makes me not want to breastfeed. Um, and I don't have like a whole bunch of like stored pump milk. I, I have a little bit and I don't like, I don't know. He doesn't really like to take a bottle. I tried to give him a bottle the other day, he gagged. I'm like, I don't wanna stop, okay, let me, my sweet boy. I don't wanna stop breastfeeding him, but right now I'm in a lot of pain, so. Hi, baby. His nose is all runny. I hope it stops soon. It's a little bit better today, so maybe I just have to get used to like him having teeth or something. I don't know, let me know if you've experienced something like that. I thought maybe I had like an infection. Like I was trying to figure it out, I'm like what is going on? Because I've never felt like this. I think it's just like getting used to him having teeth and like maybe like his teeth like just being there and it's, my nipples aren't used to that. I don't know, but. But yeah, I don't know. Just wanted to talk about that because. But yeah. So that is a pile of towels that I need to wash. Um, And. The girls are in my room having quiet time. I let them watch a show today because they were begging to like watch a movie instead of taking a nap. So that was fine as long as they stayed in there and like actually lay down. So, and that's a pile of Luca's toys up there that Daisy keeps stealing. So I had to put them up there. Um, we're gonna start taking things off the wall though, probably today or tonight or tomorrow morning. Just get started on this whole moving situation. need to get like a tripod. I don't know where mine went like to hold my camera while I'm walking around the house and stuff because I always have to find somewhere to set it but we just all laid on the couch and watched Tangled. He's still a little fuzzy. I'm taking a nap on me and then the girls watched Tangled and Tommy came on the couch and we Tommy took a little nap and I think out Lila closed her eyes for a little bit so that was a little nice family cuddle session. We're gonna go do something though. We're just gonna go to Centennial Park. We only have a few more weekends here in Nashville, so I'm trying to like cross everything off our list. So we wanna go to Centennial Park one last time. Um, probably get the kids like fast food, like McDonald's, and just kinda hang outside. Um, we just wanna say bye to that park. I have a tire grab driver up order that I've been trying to get all day that I just haven't had time or made the time to do that. So we'll probably pick that up on our way home from there. Come on. You got a sticker in your hair. Can I do? Mm-hmm. Oh, wait, they're, we're actually going in Dad's car. Whoops, well, silly me. There's no car seats in there. We gotta go in Dad's car. I got in the wrong car. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's water and that's my smoothie. I'm gonna go get the wipes. Got McDonald's? Yeah. I can hold it. Yeah. You have Sissy's toy? I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I have a good memory of coming here with this you.
starting to fall through the bottom. So I'm gonna hold it. It is the next morning. Um, I didn't finish vlogging yesterday because we went to that park and then we came home and just went to the bath and bedtime and all that. So it's the next morning. I have a drive up order that I need to get. We're like out of shampoo and conditioner and all that stuff. I wanted to get it yesterday, but they were just really tired. So we came home. So I'm going to go do that. And I wanted to run to Trader Joe's, but I think that I might just do Target, come home, drop the kids off with Tommy, and then run back out and run grocery, do groceries by myself or bring Luca. I don't really think I want to take all of them today. I might. We'll see what I'm in the mood for. Um, but at least this is a drive up border, so get out of the house for a few. And then if Tommy's home from his run, he can stay home with the girls so I can go to Trader Joe's um, kid free. Okay, so that ended up being a fail. As we were leaving, Tommy got home, so I just took the girls out of the car. And then I was like, I'll just take the baby because he's sleeping. So I got to Trader Joe's and I realized I don't have the stroller and the car seat's too big for the Trader Joe's cart. And then I didn't have my baby carrier in the car and he's sleeping and he doesn't really fit in the car yet. So um, I just did my dark, <laughs> oh my gosh, I cannot talk. I just did my Target drive up order. And then I told Tommy, I'm like, I forgot the stroller in your car. And um, he was like, why don't you just go back out? But I don't know if I really want to, we'll see. Um, but figured while he's sleeping back there, I'll just show you quickly what I got. I wanted, to, I had to get the girls some, um, I got them these immunity vitamins. We were out of the ones that we usually take. Um, so I tried, I'm gonna, we're gonna try these by Ollie. I don't know, I just feel like I need to build their immunity right now. I grabbed, it's so random. This, these chicken nuggets, they're breaded, gluten-free um, chicken nuggets or chicken tenders. They're, I feel like they're a little bit healthier and I didn't think my kids would like them because they're so picky, but they actually love them. So that's exciting for me. I got Lila, got Lila a pair of new sandals. Her feet like randomly grew and she doesn't fit into her, her sandals that I got her in like May. So I just got her a bigger size of the ones that um, she already has. And these were on sale for $12, originally 17. So that was good got them more milk this is literally like so random but whatever finally got my dry shampoo and then I got um, I've been liking this hair food shampoo and conditioner from Target so stocked back up on that and then I just like random stuff in here that you guys probably don't care about so I got them some fiber or probiotics and um, another multivitamin we're out of the ones that we usually take so hopefully those are okay the reviews on these are really good so i'm assuming they're fine but i don't know i think i'm just gonna end the vlog here because i'm not sure what i want to do if i want to go back to trader joe's or not but um yeah i will vlog again in a couple days probably so i will see you guys in my next video make sure you subscribe if you haven't already thank you so much for watching give this video a thumbs up and i'll see you guys in my next one bye I see it in your eyes Yeah, I can read the signs